Hi guys and welcome. Today I will show you how to play Medieval Total War on windowed mode because I know when I play Medieval Total War it's on full screen and I can't record. And for example, if, if it's an example now, you should work for example uh, on your math homework but you play medieval total war and your parents come into your room but and you have to and if it's on full screen you have to really quick quit the game but if you have a window you can just go onto, onto your toolbar and um, close it so that's one good thing and the second good part about a windows medieval total war is that you can record how to play it so there are many ways how to window it or how to play it in windowed mode and I it didn't work for me all the time so I think the thing is you have to find your medieval total war uh, folder so there is a way here details I think no in general uh, you have to find your <coughs> medieval total war folder so you will go onto your for in it should be on your disk C local disk if you have one disk but I have two because I have one SSD and one HD HDD yeah so I have my games on HDD so you go on your games and you search for the Steam folder click on Steam apps common and then you search all your games that you have here so medieval total war is here for me now so then you have all of this here so your folder so you see here that this is all the folder here and you'll have to search for the medieval 2 dot preferences folder double click on it and then you'll get a notepad or if you don't have notepad you should open it on windows just right click open with and then you, if if this doesn't open here, just more options, and then you search for or look up, uh, look for another app on this PC, and then you search for a Notepad. But I ha I did it already, so I double click on it, and this appears now. Uh, yeah, this appears. So I'll show you. So, so this is all the preferences that is on Medieval Two Total War. So you have to scroll down until the video here, the video section. I put the the way how I did it in the link in the description you, so you can look after it. So you have to go to the video set uh, video part here and just scroll down and then you'll have you see widescreen, widescreen equals zero. And then underneath you write windowed, windowed space uh, equals and then a space true so this will allow um, or this will be uh, so this will enable sorry you to play medieval total war on um windowed so that's good then you go on save not in save as but on save you close it and then you right click on it so on the medieval, medieval two dot preferences and on properties so we do this to enable it that it doesn't change the file so that the game doesn't change the file as it was before so you, you go here uh, attributes and you click on read only and then you click apply so this we enabled now that we can play medieval total war as long as we can on windowed without changing anything here so then we double click on medieval total war and it appears like that so you have a border here and then you can play on windowed so you see what i'm playing right now here then you have it and that's good so if if it appears a bit too small you go on options video settings show advanced settings and then you have to change the campaign resolution on your highest resolution and the battle map resolution on your highest re resolution. So this will appear then. So then 
let's see now. I said may, uh, maybe you have to restart. Uh, you'll have to. Sorry about that, I was my sister. So sometimes it doesn't work with you with a read only, sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to. So sometimes it doesn't work for you out, so you, uh, so it doesn't, so you have to uh, write or do the same process either as I did right now on every, every time you play Medieval Total Wars. So but I'll, I'll see if it works now for me. So I double kick again. And yeah, it worked. So you have to click. So the important thing is you have to enable the read only. So make a um, enable the read only. Right click on Medieval Two Preferences and then click on Read Only. So this worked for me here, and I'm pretty happy because I really took a lot of time into um, finding out to do it, and I hope I helped you because there aren't any good videos how to show it to you or show it so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I would love if you would check out my other videos and subscribe for more maybe how to's videos and other videos for example uh, let's plays so then I'll see you then in my next video or tutorial